the contested legacy of South Africa's last apartheid president, F.W. de Klerk, was commemorated in Cape Town today. While there's been much unhappiness from several quarters that he was accorded a state memorial service, President Cyril Ramaphosa said de Klerk also had to be acknowledged for his role in dismantling an unjust regime. His wife also paid a moving tribute to her late husband. She said he was often misunderstood and battled between intellect and emotions. F.W. de Klerk was buried in a private ceremony after succumbing to cancer a month ago at the age of 85. At his state memorial service at the Grote Kerk in Cape Town, his family spoke about the man behind closed doors. And he used to say, remember that you can never be present if you are looking backwards. History will repeat itself until such time you learn from it and only then you can change your path and make a choice. His wife of 23 years said he was often misunderstood because of his desire to do the correct thing. F.W. was a man of long planning. Once he knew what he wanted to achieve, he planned it meticulously, anticipating all obstacles in order to bring it to reality. He was torn between intellect and emotion. His emotion was for the pain the country was going through. He could not find peace in this horrendous system. This had affected him psychologically. In his eulogy, President Cyril Ramaphosa said there was no denying apartheid was a crime against humanity. We can neither ignore nor must we seek to dismiss the anger and the pain and the disappointment of those who recall the place F.W. de Klerk occupied in the hierarchy of an oppressive state. We must never forget the injustices of the past. But he added de Klerk should also be remembered for having the courage of his convictions to change the course of South Africa's history. Many wondered why do we want to have a memorial at the state level for F.W. de Klerk. And we said we will have it because he is one person who played an important role in the evolution of our new democracy, whether we like it or not. Ramaphosa says bringing about reconciliation cannot rest squarely with those who were oppressed. Lindsay Dentlinger, Cape Town.